Hello everyone, my name is Mike and in this video I'll show you how you can integrate video chat to your React.js last node.js app for free using daily.co. So let's get started. So here's a small demo for you. First of all, I created a small input right here so now I can enter the room name. Now I'll do test, click submit and as you see it redirects me to slash video slash test. And so here is the room name. Now if I zoom out, you can see I can mute and mute, turn my video on and off. I can go to video settings and change my camera, my microphone, my speakers. I can test my speakers right here. I can select the video quality, the language, and that's mostly to the settings and I can change my name. So let me do that. Boom. Now I can do join meeting and I'm on my meeting alone. What I'll do is close my microphone so I don't get an echo and I'll open a new browser and test it out. So actually I'll put this on full screen. Here I'll have a new window. Okay, so let's do show. So as you can see, I can select my microphone to be enabled. And again, if I want to turn my camera on, I'll have to enable that as well. Again, the same settings, but let's test the meeting now. So I'll do join meeting. And it did a beep sound. I don't know if you heard that. Now, as you can see, here is Michael from the Angular window. And here is me. And we'll show all the other participants right here. We can change the grid view. We can do full screen. We can again change the settings. I can see how many people are in. Then we have chat. I'll do test. And if I open the other window, you can see I have a new message and test. And that's like a real time chat app. Uh, so I can also upload files, I believe. And then we can share screen. Let me share my screen right here. And it's working pretty good. Now I'll stop it. And that's mostly it. Then I can leave the room. And that's it. Now you see a blank screen, but you can change that. You can give it a callback. I'll, uh, you can go down in the description and I'll have the documentation there. So let me show you how that works in code. Let's start with the backend. So first of all, we have an express app here. And if you scroll down, as you see, I have created a route, class video call, class, and the room name. And what I do is I try to get the room if it does exist. So I say, if there is an error, create the room with that room ID and send the data from that room. Otherwise, send the room itself that already exists. And let me show you how we create a room. First of all, there is an API endpoint that daily.co gives us. So we send the room name and some properties. You can change the properties here or add more. And I'll have the documentation down in the description so you can check what you can do right here, what options you have. And let me explain briefly what everything does right here. So we have enable screen share, and that's it. If you want to enable screen share for that meeting, you can enable chat. And then you want the users to start, to start with the video off or on. I say off true. So it starts with video off, but audio I want it open. And then for get the room, there is an endpoint again, and you put the room name right here. And you do a get request, and it gives you the room data. And as you see, I have same headers. And what those headers do is, first of all, it sends a JSON, and then we have authorization, and we have a beer token, 
and the API key that we get from daily, which I will show you in a bit how we do that. So let's go to the front end, source. Okay, first of all, we have the routes here. And then we can go to the pages, we have the join. So really simple input right here. We save that to use state. And then on submit, we redirect the user to that page. And on that page, we have a use effect. And what we do is we send the act, the, the get request that I showed you before in the back end with the ID from the params or the, from the query params. And when it is success, then what we do is we use window.daily iframe. And daily iframe is the iframe that daily provides you. And how we get the frame is if we go to the index.html, I have a script right here that daily gives you. And let's go back. So we just create an iframe on that page. And you can give it the iframe some styling. And then you can pass some options as well. So show leave button to true. So full screen button to true. And there is more. Again, we have the documentation down in the description. And then we have a dot join right here. And what it does, it gives you a URL, a domain. So when you sign up on the daily.co, which I'll show you how you can do that in a bit, you will get a domain name and the ID is the room name. So that's dynamic, but there is only one domain right here. By the way, when we get the API key, you will be able to change it on the .env. And then we have the meeting. So you will need to change the domain name here. So let me show you now how you can get a domain name, an API key, and the rest. So go down in the description, I'll have this URL. And this is the sign up page. So first of all, go ahead and sign up. After you sign up, you'll be redirected to this page. First of all, go ahead and verify your email. So after I verify, it will ask me to log in. Then you can close the other window and now you create your domain. I chose my domain, no one got it, so I'll click verify. Uh, you can test a video call, but no need to, I'll do skip step. And then again, skip step and open dashboard. Now what I have to do to get the API key is to go to developers and here's my API key. Just copy and paste it to the .env. You can also regenerate the key. So that's what I'll do afterwards, after this video. You have some settings here and for the pricing currently for the free plan, you can get up to 50 rooms and then 2000 monthly minutes, which is pretty good. And you can do max 200 person call. Then you can move to other plans, which I will say launch for $9 a month. It's pretty good. And then scale is mostly for businesses, but you can check the plans here. And that's it. So let me show you what you'll do now. So go back to the code, change your domain and I'll do my new domain. And then I'll put my API key. So let's go to developers, copy, get the dot in V and paste my new API key. Now, if I go to local host 8000, create a new room, I'll do test, click submit. It should create the room. And it didn't. Okay, it might take some time because we just created the dashboard. Actually, no. What I have to do is refresh my backend because I needed to get the new API key and it has the old with a new domain. So, yeah, it's mixed up. Now, if I click refresh, boom, it created the room successfully.
and now if I go to my dashboard and go to the rooms I'll see my room here test so I hope you enjoyed this video hit that like button I'll really appreciate it and YouTube algorithm loves it also subscribe so you can see more now I really want to hit that 1000 subscribers so it would really help me out and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of future videos bye bye